To add a team member, select the Add Team Member button. A red badge will show you the number of available team members you can add. Next, enter the following information, first and last name. The extension number is set automatically, but you may also customize it as you prefer. net to phone supports three or four digit extensions. Please note, when changing or creating extensions, certain special extensions, welcome menus, are automatically set. Then, enter a valid email address. The service address field is required and will be used for emergency 911 purposes. In the phone number field, you have the ability to add an existing phone number from the list you created or add a new number by following the steps mentioned in the Adding Phone Numbers video. Under Role, you can decide whether the team member is added as a user or admin. Admins have access to manage and view data of the entire account, while users can only manage their own settings. Once saved, you'll see some users have a crown symbol, which means they are an admin or a headset for non-admin users. You can manage each team member by clicking on the pencil or edit icon to the far right. Under the profile tab, you have the ability to upload an image for their avatar and can modify the team member's name, email, emergency service address, change their time zone, update their password, or delete the user. In the company tab, you can add, change, and remove their phone number and modify their extension. Please note, you can assign more than one phone number to each team member, but each user has a minimum requirement to have at least one number. You can also select which department the team member is in or select multiple departments and add whether or not their name is listed in the company directory. See what licenses are enabled for the user under the Licenses tab. The Call Forwarding tab offers options to forward calls to external phone numbers or other extensions. The forwarding can be set up to ring all the forwarding numbers at once or in sequential order. By default, it will ring them all together and you can set the number of rings in the phone rings dropdown. If you would like to have them ring sequentially, choose the sequentially option in the phone rings dropdown. When this is chosen, you can decide how many rings each forwarding number rings by using the dropdown next to the forwarding number. Please note that phone rings also affect direct calls, in addition to transferred incoming calls. You can choose to allow the forwarding to ring between 2 and 19 rings. You can choose from the following call forwarding options. Off. No forwarding will happen. Calls will only ring your desk phone, WebRTC, and mobile app. Ring all. This will ring your desk phone, WebRTC, and mobile app, as well as the forwarding numbers you've inputted, all at the same time. No answer will first ring the desk phone, WebRTC, and mobile app, and if you don't answer, it will forward the call to the forwarding phone numbers. Failover will only forward to the forwarding numbers if your desk phone and WebRTC are not registered with net to phone Forward only will not ring any desk phone, WebRTC, or mobile app and will forward directly to the forwarding phone numbers. You can toggle on and off your forwarding options by using the call forwarding toggle. When on, it will forward as per the settings listed. And when off, it will just ring your desk phone, WebRTC, and mobile app. You can also toggle this by dialing star 74 from your net to phone phone. Call screening. When enabled, the call screening option informs you of incoming net to phone calls and provides accept and deny capabilities when answering the call from one of your forwarding numbers. Enabling this feature will give you the option to accept an incoming call by pressing one or decline by pressing two. You also have the ability to enable recording the caller's name, which would require the caller to say their name before forwarding the call. You would hear their name before getting the option to accept or reject the call. Incoming Caller ID. If this feature is disabled, when the call is forwarded, it will show the phone number of the person calling. If enabled, it will show the phone number they dialed or the net to phone number you've assigned to them. The Call Options tab displays your ring group status to show whether you are logged in or out of the ring groups. It also has the option to enable or disable call recording for the user. The Devices tab gives you the option to set your outbound caller ID. You can select from the list of numbers assigned to set your outbound caller ID when making outbound calls. Please note, when calling 911, your personal number will be displayed to emergency services and not the caller ID you choose, 
so that if necessary, help is dispatched to the correct address. The phone rings option allows you to set how many times your desk phone will ring before going unanswered. This does not affect ring group rings. You can also toggle on to make calls via your WebRTC browser. If disabled, calls will not ring to your Net2Phone web portal when logged in, and you will not be able to make calls from the Net2Phone web portal. Desk phones. This is where you register and add the type of desk phone you'll be using. Choose from the dropdown to add and provision the device. This is helpful if you are using your own device. You can also delete devices assigned to you from here. Please be careful when deleting existing devices, as this can impact your service. Voicemail. Under this tab, you can turn voicemail on and off and select options for voicemail to email to choose if you want to receive an audio file attachment, audio transcript, and include caller details. You can also edit your voicemail greeting. You can use the default greeting or upload a custom one as an mp3, .m4a, or .wav file. To record the customer greeting through a phone call, add the number you'd like to be called, and you'll be prompted to record your greeting. Or you can dial star 95 from your desk phone to record your voicemail.